Students and educators do not need only a laptop for e-learning, but also the capacity to utilize the devices. The third school term recommenced on April 20th with a mixed modality approach, online and traditional, taken to learning due to the COVID-19 social distancing and stay-at-home measures. Opposition leader Philip J. Pierre lamented that children from low-income households may be unable to access devices and the internet. Minister for Education Dr. Gil Rickerbert, speaking to reporters outside Parliament on Tuesday, stated that giving students a laptop is one element of preparing them for the e-learning platform and training is the next step. Integration of ICTs in education. That leveraging ICTs in education is not equivalent to only equipping a child with a laptop in a particular form as obtained under the Labour Administration. We have always maintained that there are other accompanying policy measures. There are other accompanying building capacity initiatives that will help whoever the end user is, be it the teacher or the student, to be better equipped with skills to leverage the hardware, which is the device. Dr. Rigobert provided an explanation of the other interventions required to get the e-learning module off the ground. Enhancing capacity at the teacher level, introducing new courses or improving the courses that students take to enhance their e-capacity, which means their capacity to use a device, whether it is um, retrofitting schools and equipping schools with more hardware or transforming them into smart classrooms. It is that suite of activities, all of these things put together, that will really give true meaning to any ambition for online learning, for integration of ICTs, or for e-education in St. Lucia. The Minister for Education encourages parents and educators to ensure that students do not miss out on learning due to the COVID-19 outbreak. I am really encouraged by the willingness of teachers, parents and other stakeholders to embrace this mixed modality, recognizing fully what some of the challenges are, but rising to the occasion to embrace the opportunity to ensure that our students do not suffer any significant break in uh, their instruction or in their learning experience. Dr. Rigobert observed that the education system is facing an unprecedented challenge and commended educators for taking learning to social media. Gina Filippi, HTS News Force.